Hi, this is Mo from Paul Federico Photography. Welcome to View. <laughs> So in this episode, I want to talk about the story behind the covered bridge and why I take photographs of covered bridges. Just recently got back from New Hampshire and took a lot of photographs of covered bridges and I'm getting a lot of people really liking them on Instagram and, and actually is some people reaching out to buy copies because they, they really make a nice wall art uh, for people's homes. Now. Why covered bridges? Well, to be honest with you, covered bridges say something to me. They're a piece of history. They're, they're really a piece of American history that, that's still alive, that's still there, that's still used. Now, the covered bridges were designed to help vehicles, most likely wagon, horse wagons or carts or even early automobiles, uh, for, to go over a bridge without hitting black ice. Because if a bridge is over a river or a creek and it's the dead of winter, chances are it's going to freeze. And that's going to be black ice. So many a person went over the edge before they decided, wait a minute, we can fix this. Ingenuity. So the covered bridge became a thing in the Northeast of the United States and the Northwest of the United States. We have 53 of them here in Oregon. There used to be some in Northern California, but they don't really exist anymore. So most of the covered bridges that were built in the country, thousands of them are, are gone. A lot of out of necessity, needing to make roads wider uh, because of population and what have you. But there are still quite a few that have been preserved mostly by people in the area where the covered bridge is wanting to preserve a piece of history. So let me show you some of the photographs that we've been seeing. This one is one of my favorites, um, the Carlton Bridge in New Hampshire, built in 1789 and refurbished, they said new, but refurbished in 1869. Still pretty old. Most of the ones in Oregon are late 1800s, early 1900s. So the fact that this one was built in 1789 is pretty amazing. I chose to go this time of year because of the fall colors, uh, the autumn colors in New England. Um, it's right for what we call leaf peeping, which means you go to look at the colors change in the trees. A lot of maple trees and what have you. Maple trees turn yellow and orange and red and it's exceptionally beautiful. So this particular bridge is uh, one of the bridges I took. And again, um, it's really, you know, coming at it from a certain point of view that evokes an emotion. Now, some of you may have seen a film from back in the 80s. Oh, actually, I could be wrong. I think it's 1995 uh, called Bridges of Madison County. Well, it, it, it's based on a photographer from National Geographic going to take uh, photographs of bridges in this small county in Iowa. And that particular county only has five bridges. I have not photographed them. But this is a similar story without the romance, uh, a similar story. And uh, to me, the bridges just really evoke some type of romance, um, which it, they do for a lot of people. So this is one, Carlton Bridge. Let me show you another one that has become a fan favorite, and that is this one. And this one is a railroad bridge. Now, there aren't that many railroad bridges. There's this one, which is Wright's Covered Bridge. Or sorry, actually, this one is Pier Covered Bridge. And then its mate, which is just down the road, is Wright's Covered Bridge, and it's that's that one. So there are two bridges not far apart, walking distance. And these are two of the oldest railroad bridges in existence in the United States. Now you can see here that there is no more railroad there. This is where the railroad went. And let me go back to the other photograph. And it crossed this particular river. There's again, just something incredibly moving about touching a piece of history like this. 
it's different from a building that everybody sees and, you know, there are crowds around. I mean, I'm sure we've got the Colosseum, which incredibly predates this, but there's something about just being kind of solitary. There is no one else around. You're solitary. You come upon a bridge. Oftentimes they're on dirt roads, uh, not near the general public. And it's just you and the bridge or maybe you and a couple of other pe people in the bridge and there's there's this air of quietness and this air of mysteriousness that goes along with uh, photographing uh, covered bridges so that's why it's special to me and i think a lot of people also find that they have a love for covered bridges once they start seeing photographs of them so there are two, uh, three bridges that I've shown you. Um, there are some longer bridges like this one, also an old bridge. There are all sorts of bridges out there. There's, here's another one. And they really are just a delight to capture. They bring me a lot of joy and hopefully they bring you joy. And hopefully someday soon I'll be getting that book out. In the meantime, this is Mo from Paul Frederico Photography. Thanks for watching.